to get a token of life, which gives you enough momentum to win a team fight, and then you kind of try and have to snowball it from there. But turtling up and farming a little bit on this Flint Beast Wood, I just don't think is going to be enough. Uh, Portal Key on Magnus would be a really great pickup uh, if, if he's able to use it effectively. But you do see him only at about 1,100 gold, so he still has quite a bit to go if he wants to pick up that Portal Key. Uh, Flint Peacewood uh, TPing back to the base, wants to try to defend this mid tower. Again, they, they have a level 16. Um, <laughs> they have a level 16 defiler, which means that her ult's going to be a ton of damage. I wouldn't be surprised to just see her uh, below the ult uh, right now and pressure this tower. Uh, again, you know, Torturer doing a ton of damage, Pyromancer doing a ton of damage. Uh, it's going to be really dangerous for this Hellborn team to try to defend it. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a really strong. Uh, push with the next creep wave from the Legion team. I would I would fully expect uh, the father just to blow her alt and push up into the base, position herself somewhere like here or here, and you know bait the Le the Hellborn team to try and blow all the cooldowns on her while Pyromancer and Torchwork clean up everything else. We just see a shrunken head on Pyromancer. That's kind of a, a a weird early game pickup, but I guess he just wants to stay alive in those team fights. Typically, still like a shrunken head. They will be able to get this tower. But there's nothing the Hellborn team can do. They don't even seem too keen on defending it. And uh, the father just going here trying to clean up the melee racks. So you have that positioning right here. Just bait them. And if they try to go in on them, the rest of the team just jumps in and punishes. Uh, Soul Reaper is walking out. He can get a good ult on this defiler probably if he can, you know, get it off. Which he can. Did he actually get it off? No, he didn't. And so, you know, it, it's got to be GG at this point. They're going to be able to get a rack. They should be able to go up top and clean up this tower as well. Yeah, everybody with Flint Beast went dead. Uh... And, you know, there you go. They just got out-pushed. Uh, they got out far, and that early momentum was way different in this game. The tri didn't have the momentum they needed on Flint Beastwood. Flint Beastwood denying the racks, which is, of course, a uh, 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 super big play, uh, turning the game around. And, yeah, the Legion team is just coming down here to this bottom bottom lane. They're going to clean up these racks as well. And, you know, generally when you have two racks down, you don't have any kind of advantage. Uh, the game is, 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 is over uh, at that point. It will be interesting to see if they choose to concede or if they want to play it out. Uh, they, they have a hard carry in Flint, but again, you know, overcoming a 20,000 gold deficit takes more than one carry getting a key item or two. Uh, there's, there's no, if, if right now you gave Flint Beastwood, uh, finish his shrunken hand and gave him a free wing bow, uh, the game would still probably be the same that it is right now. And so, you know, you kind of hope that they just conserve their energy. They say, okay, we got a little bit screwed over with a remake. We, we had completely different momentum this game. But uh, let's just regroup, let's take this time, take a minute, calm down, concede, and go into the next game full steam, rather than kind of dragging this out, having more sloppy team fights. Uh, you know, even if they have a 5% chance of winning this game, it might decrease their chances of winning the next game by more than 5% if they choose to, you know, kind of linger and just, you know, play sloppy and... They actually, uh, the concede vote came out, but it doesn't look like it's going to pass. Uh, maybe a little bit of disagreement in, in Ventrilo between the team, if they want to concede or not. But, uh, yeah, Flint Peacewood probably going to finish a shrunken head, try and get a team fight a shot where he's able to be a little bit more of a presence. But uh, I just don't see it happening. I mean, if they want to say, like, okay, we need to, we need to go Ninja Kongo or, or something, it looks like they were actually scouting for the Kongo themselves, but the uh, Ninja team's not doing it. They're just kind of farming up. Bubbles looks like he's going to go for a uh, sheep stick. He's got the Blessed Orb. Just needs to pick up the uh, Acolyte Staff and Manitou from the side lane. And he does only have 600 gold, but, you know, he doesn't need it anytime soon, to be honest with you. Uh, the Father does have about 3,000 gold saved up and uh, has most of her items that she kind of needs at this point. She might want to go for a Barrier Idol, you know, just to really counter that Magmus Ultimate if he happens to get a Portal Key. Uh, that actually wouldn't be a bad pickup. Besides that, you know, she has a lot of options she can go and be just fine. Uh, Pyromancer uh, does look like he has like another NVIDIA crash. Does look like he uh, is probably going for a Sheepstick as well. Uh, Sheepstick's such a powerful uh, item on these kind of int carry heroes that we've been seeing a lot of lately. You know, the the metagame right now doesn't really seem to me like it supports a hero like Flint. Uh, these these int heroes that are really able to control the mid game and then spread out are really really powerful now. You just see initiation by the Hellboy team. They're just going to melt the Soul Reaper. Behemoth with a fantastic perfect alt. Uh, Magnus with an alt that did, 
almost absolutely nothing. Uh, and they're just going to clean up the team, clean up the racks, and uh, it's going to be a GG well placed coming out uh, any second here, I fully expect. You know, you have to go back to, you know, did the Hellborn team have the best picks? Did Magnus have effective initiation? Uh, I think the answer to both of those is probably no. Meatball going to go down here. Uh, Magnus ulting the creeps, showing them who is boss. Uh, again, leveling Volcanic Touch, you just need to get those stats. You don't need Volcanic Touch, man. Don't do it, don't do it. And they are going to go get Kongor. They're not going to risk anything. They're just going to take the 100% win. And GG does come out. And the... Uh, Series is now tied up at 1-1. One, one. Uh, we will be going to a Game 3. This is the finals once again. The next game will determine the winner of the entire tournament. You get some really great gold coins from S2 and all that fun stuff. And, of course, the honor of winning the Reddit Open. So I will be back with Game 3. Uh, it should be starting momentarily.